Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say like quick, tricky and relaxing algebra question. We have 20 plus 20 divided by 2 and minus 6. And what is the correct answer to this question? Of course you can easily pause the video and test your school knowledge, test your algebra skills and write your solution to this question in two or three lines. You can easily guess what is the correct option, A, B or C. It will be really interesting to check our answers in the end, in the end of the video. Okay, so once more, here is our question. We have 20 plus 20 divided by 2 minus 6. And what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. For example, a lot of students might be saying, maybe we need to start with this addition from left to right, because we learned something about left to right order. So we have 20 plus 20 equal to, equal to 40. And the next thing we have division by 2 and minus 6, once more from left to right, 40 divided by 2 equal to 20, and 20 minus 6 equal to 14. And a lot of students might say, okay, we go from left to right, and the correct answer is, is 14, and I go to the next question. And as I told before, what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. So do we do addition first? Or do we do like division first? Or maybe do we do like subtraction first? Okay, it turns into a big argument because when we choose addition as the first, we have one answer. When we choose division as the first step, we have absolutely another answer. And of course, when we choose subtraction first, we have completely different answer. And in terms of math, it's not a good thing to solve this question with three different answers. We can't say that correct answer is one, two or three. We need to know about one and only one uh, correct answer and we can easily get that this answer is absolutely correct. And for this for this uh, explanation I need a really important part in terms of math. This is like order of operation. And why order of operation is extremely important in, in our case? Because right here we have addition, we have division, we have we have subtraction and it basically we can easily have like parentheses we can easily have multiplication sign and we need to order all of this stuff we can we need to order all of the things we need to say that for example division first and subtraction parentheses here yeah? and we need to order all of this all of this stuff and for this order we need to know about really important part this like acronym this is our PEMDAS order of operation because this order of operation tells us what we need to do at first like parentheses first or exponents first you know and when we learn it we can easily guess what is the correct answer. So first of all, here's our order of operation PEMDAS. Maybe a lot of students hear about, uh, about BODMAS. This is our order of operation, the same at the same absolutely at this one. And order of operation for brackets, orders, uh, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction is absolutely the same for both cases. So we can easily skip this part. It just depending on what country you live in. For example, this order of operation is mainly used in India, in the UK. Uh, PEMDAS mainly used in the USA, in Canada, in Europe. Yeah, so it just depending on what country you live in. In, and basically in 99% of cases the order of operation is absolutely the same for both for both cases. Okay, what I mean PEMDAS order of operation? Each of these letters stands for something, so it's not like an English word, this is like a quick checklist, and from this uh, uh, order of operation we need to take this letter P, which stands for parentheses, and of course parentheses has the highest priority, because we are talking about priority from left from left to right parentheses, maybe this type of brackets, maybe this type of brackets, okay, we are talking about parentheses, and right now let's scan where do we have parentheses in our question, let's do this. Uh, for me personally, I don't see any parentheses brackets, I don't see any of those, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any parentheses. Okay, let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. Exponents, it means power, so don't be scared about it. For example, we're talking about 3 to the power 10, like 5 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 100, so we're talking about basic stuff, we are talking about basic powers. They think, they think, and they think, and let's scan up a question, maybe we have powers in our question, like to square, we don't have it, maybe it's 20 to the power third, we don't have it, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have powers at each of these places, we don't have any power, so we can easily skip this part, we don't have any exponents. Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. So we need to mention it at once. So this is one common group. So multi M stands for multiplication, D stands for uh, for division. And you know, uh, if we, we don't have exactly the same case right here because we don't have a mixture of multiplication and division. But I, I want to say you, just in case, maybe we will have something like that in the future. For example, when we have a mixture of multiplication and division. So for example, two 
times 3 divided by 5, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance. So if we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform it in a strict order from left, from left to right. So in this case, the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we need to perform multiplication first. We, I, I need to put it imaginary brackets. You can easily put this imaginary brackets in your head. But when we have, for example, uh, 2 divided by 5 and times 3. In this case, division comes first from left to right, so we need to put a uh, division uh, sign at first. Uh, yeah, we don't have this uh, exactly these cases in our question. We don't have any mixture of multiplication and division. We can easily we can easily skip this part. We don't have multiplication sign, but we have division sign. So our first step after parentheses, after exponents, after multiplication, we have division because we have it right here. So we need to divide 2, 20 divided by 2. This is our first first step. So let's do this right now. Uh, so as a result, what do we have? We have 20 plus 20 divided by 2 equal to uh, equal to uh, we have 10. Yeah. And we have minus 6. So we complete this division division part. We have it and we complete it. I want to mention it with the red with the green color. So we complete this division part. We have it, we complete it. We don't have parentheses, we, we skip this part, we don't have exponents, we already skipped this part, and we don't have multiplication part, so we already skipped this part. Okay, so our first step is this division. We can easily put these imaginary brackets in your head that every time you have a mixture of uh, addition, division, and subtraction, we need to we need to uh, do division or multiplication at first. But first of all, let's solve this question. So I don't want to go a little bit further because uh, we're talking about our last step. We have addition, A stands for addition and S stands for uh, for subtraction. And we need to we need to perform it as a group. So from left for in a strict order from left to right. But uh, to be honest, at this point, when we have addition and subtraction, you don't need this order of operation anymore because every student, every type of students, advanced students uh, with advanced level of math can easily solve it without any order of operation. Okay, so we are talking about 20 plus 10 equal to 30, and we have minus 6 equal to equal to 20 equal to 24. And this is our answer, answer to our question. And I want to underline few key moments to this question. Okay, I wanted to underline it right now because we have our question and I really want you to know how can we uh, how can we solve this question correctly. So whenever we have a mixture of so we have like, uh, let's write something like that we have or let's let's change it. Okay, let's write something like that bracket. So whenever we have a mixture of addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. I want to generalize this, okay? I want to use all possible cases. So I don't talk about parentheses exponent because a little bit complicated stuff. But in a lot of percentage of cases, we have this thing. We have a division, addition, multiplication and subtraction. So whenever we have this mixture and doesn't matter, uh, doesn't matter the order. So for example, we have division, subtraction, multiplication, addition. So, you know, it's not about, uh, it's not about where do we have this sign in our question, like right here, right here. It's about the thing when we have only these mathematical operators in our question. So whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division, we need to perform at first, we need to perform a division and multiplication, division and multiplication mixture. And after that, we need to perform in conclusion, addition and addition and subtraction subtraction part. Okay, it's extremely important part. So first of all, whenever we have a mixture of addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, we need to perform division, multiplication first, and then addition and subtraction first. So let me let me just erase all of this stuff. And I'm going to show you a quick example just for better understanding. For example, maybe a lot of students watch my videos. So for example, we have a long and complicated mixture of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, let's use something like that. So we have two times two plus three, divided by 3 minus 1 times 4 and plus 7 for example times 3 okay so we have we have addition, subtraction, division, we have all the thing. And whenever we have a mixture of addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction, the first thing is to perform division multiplication in a strict order from left, uh, from left to right. So let's do this right now. From left to right, where do we have it? We have multiplication sign right here, we have division sign right here, we have multiplication sign right here, and we have once more multiplication sign right here. So right now let's perform it. As a result, what do we have? Uh, we have 2 times 2 equal to 4, we have addition. Don't forget about it because first of all, we, we uh, simplify expression with with uh, uh, multiplication and division sign plus three divided by three equal to one minus one times four equal to 
equal to 4 and plus 7 times 3 equal to equal to 21. So as you can see, our first step we complete perfectly. We just uh, simplify expression with multiplication and division. So the key moment right now, whenever we have a, a mixture of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, we need to perform multiplication, division first from left to right in a strict order from left to right. Don't forget about left to right order. Forget about uh, uh, right to left. It's extremely wrong. And in the conclusion, we need to perform addition and subtraction as well in a strict order from left to right. But to be honest, at this point, you don't need this order of operation because everyone know that we need to perform it. For example, four plus three equal to seven. Yeah, we have seven minus 4 plus 21 and to be honest i don't want to solve it because this is very basic thing we have 7 minus 4 equal to 3 and 3 plus 1 equal to uh, is 3 plus 21 equal to uh, 24 and our correct answer is is 24 as you can see we have the absolutely the same answer is uh, exactly the, our, our question right now but the main thing right now whenever we have a mixture of addition subtraction multiplication division division multiplication first in a strict order from left to right and the addition and subtraction in conclusion and at this point you don't need this order of operation anymore because everyone know how can we add it how can we subtract it and uh, this this example this like a uh, special case it's the special case without parentheses without parents and without exponents so don't forget about it uh, but that this question this case this algorithm is without parentheses and exponent this is like a, a special case without it whenever we have parentheses exponent well we need to do this before this uh, before this uh, simplifying this mixture of multiplication division addition and subtraction so i really hope you understand this key moment right now i really hope you understand it uh, here's our answer to this question we have 24 so i really hope you get this point and we go back uh, to our question we had 24 in the beginning but as i told before in the beginning we said that correct answer is, is 14 we just go from from left to right and we solve this question it looks like in a correct in a correct approach but here is few tricky moments right now a lot of students say that correct answer is uh, is 14 from left to right we don't care about order of operations so let me just erase all of this stuff and i'm going to say the next really important thing okay if you want to do addition first before division you need to put parentheses so with parentheses correct answer is 14 and don't forget about it don't be scared about it because uh, when we have parentheses we have addition first uh, for, from uh, addition first inside parentheses we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses first because in 99 percent of cases parentheses has the highest priority okay so we need to perform uh, addition first so as a result we have 40 the next thing we have division by two so as a result we will have a uh, 14 okay we have absolutely the same thing but 14 is wrong answer exactly to our question we don't have parentheses. With parentheses, correct answer is 14. We have 40 divided by 2 equal to 20. 20 minus 6 equal to equal to 14. So I, I want to leave it like that because maybe a lot of students uh, want to say that a correct answer is 14. Well, correct answer is 14, but with parentheses right here. So I want to underline that this 14 is correct answer with parentheses at this point. In our question, we need to mention that correct answer is 24. We solved it. We don't have any parentheses. So without parentheses, correct answer is 24. We already solved it right here. So when you choose correct answer 14, well, you need to review a little bit your basic mess, okay? Because 14 is a correct answer with parentheses at this point, okay? Without parentheses, just forget about this 14. And uh, to be honest, correct answer in our question is for factorial. And this is a tricky moment because, you know, correct answer to our question is 24. And because we solved it right here, but we don't have this exactly the same option we don't have uh, uh, right here. Okay, we don't have any, uh, this option. So it means that uh, maybe a lot of students try to find a tricky thing in this question and they say, okay, maybe 14 is the correct answer because we don't have this 24. But to be honest, for, don't be scared about it. For factorial, this is our product. So let me change my pen real quick. For example, for factorial equal to uh, 1 times 2 we have equal to 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4 equal to we have 2 times 3 we have 6 6 times 4 we have we have 24 so for factorial this is the same 24 to be honest 24 factorial it's not a correct answer to our question because correct answer is 24 but we have a test so we can easily find the same the same value in our question so correct answer is is for factorial and when you choose this answer for factorial well you need to be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely absolutely correct because to our question correct answer is is for is 4 factorial, not 14, not 10. 14 is a correct answer with parentheses. This is like a this is like a special case. I want to underline it that this is like a, 
a special case with this with this sign this is like a special uh, special case this is not our answer to our question so once more here is our solution to this question with order of operation here is our quick example just for better understanding this this key moment right now because in 99 percent of cases addition subtraction is before is after multiplication and division so multiplication division first then addition and and subtraction here is our answer to this question here is our looks like special case with parentheses because with parentheses is per, uh, correct answer is 14 uh, to our question correct answer is 24 but according to test this is our option c and of course when you want to check this answer on your calculator uh, just try to plug in the whole question from left uh, from left to right order so when you want to plug in it just plug in the whole question from left uh, from left uh, to right so from from this point uh, to this point because when you plug in for example mm, on your calculator where you plug in for example 20 plus 20 you know sometimes calculators uh, say okay right here we have 40 okay and it's not a good thing because in the beginning uh, uh, further you will have uh, division by 2 and subtraction by uh, division by 2 sorry and subtraction by by 6 so we have a mixture of all this uh, all this stuff right here so you know you need to plug in the whole question from left to right and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation then your calculator say okay i have addition i have division i have subtraction so i know that division is before addition and subtraction so i can easily solve it without any without any problems so it was my explanation to this question i really hope you learned something new i really hope you learn how can we work with with uh, with addition subtraction division uh, oh and of course in, in the basic moments i hope Hope you understand how can we work with uh, four mathematical operators like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Of course, without parentheses exponent, but here's our question, so we don't need it right now at this point, so we can easily learn something about about this approach. Okay, correct answer is 24. In our question, correct answer is option C. We have four factorial. If you choose correct answer 14, well, you need to review a little bit of basic math, and you need to review a little bit of basic math when you choose correct answer A, which is not good, which is not good. And to our question. So correct answer is 14 with parentheses because parentheses has the highest priority so we need to mention that we need to do addition first uh, before uh, before division. This is like a special case uh, yeah and of course correct answer to our question is is option C. This is four factorial the same as as uh, 24 because division first then addition uh, then subtraction. So I really hope you get the point. I really hope you learned something new. I want to say thank you Aaron for your support. Thank you Aaron for your likes, for your dislikes, for your for your kind response. If you enjoyed, I really appreciate it. When you when you watch this type of videos, to be honest, this is not that hard because there are a lot of a lot of channels on YouTube um, which are filmed like uh, higher mathematics video, like uh, complicated like expressions complicated uh, complicated stuff with with integrals with derivative i want to do this thing if you enjoy it it's like a simple question to be honest this is not that hard but i want to show you how could you solve this step by step with order of operation with with a step by step explanations explanation so i really hope you enjoy it so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life i really hope you learn something new from this video i really hope you get something new information some new information it's extremely important for me when you learn something new it's extremely important uh, thing okay so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself also write to respond if it's really kind of you when you leave a respond and of course i read every comment it's extremely important for me to see your respond down into the comment section and of course i'm really helpful i'm really thankful that you watch my videos and moreover i really want faith uh, i'm really grateful that you saw this question absolutely correct because this is our math question and i really think that you solve this question absolutely absolutely correct so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day